Hypospadias is a condition where the urethra, which is the, the tube that one urinates through, or the, the P-tube, um, doesn't develop to the point where the opening is at the tip of the penis. During embryologic development, um, the way that you should look at it is the urethra starts out with its opening lower, down by the scrotal area, and then what happens is that it zips up to the point where it zips up all the way to the tip. And when it doesn't make it all the way to the tip, that's called hypospadias. It occurs about one in 200 births. Uh, no one knows the exact cause. The vast majority of hypospadias uh, occurs in which the opening is just below the glands or the head of the penis. Uh, that's called a distal form of hypospadias. In that situation, it usually can be repaired uh, in a one-stage procedure on an outpatient basis with a success rate that's greater than 90%. One of the things that's commonly asked is, do I need to have surgery for hypospadias? And there are basically three reasons why we consider surgery. The first is that if the opening is not in the right position, there might be problems as far as um, deflection of the urinary stream, meaning that it might deflect downward, so you would have problems aiming the stream into the urinal, especially in a standing position. And along with that, um, there are potential concerns about infertility, meaning that uh, if the plumbing's not quite correct, that the sperm can't be deposited in, in the right spot. The uh, second reason, or functional reason, why we consider fixing hypospadias is that in um, most cases, there's also some associated curvature, or called cordy. That's where the penis bends in a downward direction. Uh, in most cases, the degree of curvature is not functionally significant, especially those cases which are distal, or meaning, once again, closer to the head of the penis. However, in the more severe forms, where the opening is closer to the scrotum, the degree of cordy becomes much more functionally significant, and the operations to fix that become much more complicated. Um, and then the third reason uh, is what I call psychosocial reasons or locker room issues. Um, uh, is this some, going to be something that potentially can affect the individual from a psychosocial standpoint? For the most common forms of hypospadias, in most situations, there's no true functional reason why surgery has to be undertaken because most of them will be able to direct their stream adequately. The degree of cordy or the bending of the penis will not be one that is going to affect them from a sexual function standpoint later in life. And so the decision is being based more upon psychosocial issues or, or locker room issues. In the more severe forms of hypospadias in which the opening is either in the middle portion of the shaft of the penis or further down by the scrotum, once again, that's the minority of cases, but that is a more challenging situation. And now we're not just talking about psychosocial issues or locker room issues, we're talking about functional issues because the individual will have the inability to stand and direct the urinary stream appropriately. There might be concerns about infertility because of the inability to deposit the, the sperm or semen in the right uh, location, as well as the fact that there will be significant curvature that can impact sexual function. In general, there's three objectives for hypospadia surgery. One is to make the penis functionally straight. Um, and so while there might be some residual curvature after hypospadia surgery, we certainly want to give uh, a penis that is one that is going to function well from a sexual standpoint and not have um, abnormal curvature to the point would be a problem for the individual or the partner. The second objective is to build a new urethra or a, a urination tube uh, to reach the tip of the head of the penis uh, to allow adequate direction of the urinary stream. And then lastly, um, we want to, uh, we're very cosmetic surgeons. We want to try to create a completely normal appearing penis. For the vast majority of hypospadias, um, we're able to achieve a, uh, a nice functional cosmetic result. Um, the more severe forms are still a challenge uh, uh, to achieve our goals, uh, but still we're usually able to achieve them.